Hello everybody, how are you doing? It's your boy, it is Snake Old Martin, and I'm back with another video for you. I hope everybody's been keeping well. I know it's been a long, 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 long time, but I am back. Now this week, a really amazing announcement happened, and what that was, was Max Payne 1 and Max Payne 2 are getting a remake paid for by the guys and girls at Rockstar Games with all that shark card money that GTA has made in the past. It's going to be made by Remedy, which originally made Max Payne 1 and 2 back in the day, over 20 years ago now for Max Payne 1, which is unbelievable. It really started to get me thinking, what other games could do with a remake. Now there's so many games out there that could do with a remake and obviously this is my list. Some people might agree with it, some people might disagree, but I tell you I am very very excited for the idea, even the, the smidgen idea, that these things could happen. And I think there are quite strong rumours for some of these as well which is quite exciting. And remember, why make new games when you can sell people the same game over and over and over again and make millions of dollars? Am I right Todd Howard? Who's laughing now? You betcha. Now, all these games are going to be from the PS1 generation forward. The reason for that is it was my first proper console, as you can see, from all these games here. Remember, this is personal to me, so if you do agree or disagree, let me know below and tell me what, what you want. So anyway, let's get stuck into it and let's get on this list. Now we are starting off strong with Hideo Kojima's timeless classic that might not be timeless at all because I'm sat here in my room asking for a remake, please. Now if you have no idea what Metal Gear Solid is, how? Let me just explain a little bit. Now Hideo Kojima in 1998 made one of the most influential games of all time named Metal Gear Solid. Now what this is, is a stealth game where you play as a character called Solid Snake, which is not a reference to body parts by the way, where he is tasked to infiltrate an island known as Shadow Moses to stop a terrorist organisation from launching nuclear bombs, which sounds like an episode of 24, which translates to quite high stakes. Now the reason this is often regarded as one of the greatest games ever is because it did things that were so different from the time. It had in-game cutscenes, genuinely good voice acting, which was quite rare for the time. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. Really amazing boss fights, great music, and a fantastic story with twists and turns that nobody, including your gran, saw coming. Now this game is one of my favourites of all time, and is seriously in need of a remake. Now some people out there might be muttering under their breath, but Martin, there already was a remake called The Twin Snakes on the GameCube! Now this is true, this is very true. Now if this game was made in the Metal Gear Solid 2 engine, but it was all a bit strange. The way that they took the story, the voice acting was a bit over the top, and you could tell that they were heavily inspired by the Matrix at the time. Now some fans say that the Twin Snakes is actually Otacon's interpretation of the events, and I would quite like to agree on that. Now this is why we need a proper remake with the new tech of today. Can you imagine the effects? The snow all over the place. Can you imagine the footprints? Stealth mechanics they could add? Imagine everybody, the 4K boxes. Oh my God, imagine the 4K boxes we could get inside of. My heart cannot handle it. Now there are obviously concerns with this being remade. Now first of all, Kojima has obviously moved on from Konami. So this would have no impact from the great Kojima himself. But maybe Konami might find it in their heart to sell the Metal Gear Solid license to a studio, potentially Kojima Productions, that can actually do this right. Because let's face it, if this remit gets done by Konami, we're definitely getting a pachinko game, aren't we? Next up we have Dead Rising. Now Capcom love remaking things. They've given us so many games over the years remade and they love selling the same thing twice so I think there's probably a good chance for this to happen. Now what is Dead Rising? 
Dead Rising is an open world game that puts you as a budding photographer named Frank West as he goes to investigate some funny goings on at the lovely Willamette, Colorado. Frank's main focus and stay throughout the game is at Willamette Parkview Mall. Now everything is pretty rough as there's so many zombies around the place but the shopping mall is actually quite safe until an old lady screws everybody over and lets all the zombies in because she wanted to save her poodle. Now I'm on her side. I think poodles are adorable. Oh my god, but not that one. Goodness me. What makes this game so good is the fact that you can run around the shopping mall and do pretty much whatever you want. If you want to dress up, play dress up. If you want to wreck a zombie's day with random crap, do it. What's that you see? Some CDs? Go throw it at the zombies and eventually their heads might come off. Do you like guitars? Fantastic. Smash the riff out and smash the guitar on the zombie's head when you're done. Just had a smoothie? Yummy. Now you're refreshed to go slice some zombies in two with a broadsword. Now the thing that makes it even better isn't just the multiple ways to dispatch the zombies, but rather the friends you meet along the way. And also psychopaths. Now they come in all shapes and sizes and give a varied amount of gameplay and incredible boss fights too. All of this happens whilst running around the mall, keeping to a really strict time limit because all of this happens within 72 in-game hours and it gets quite stressful. Now the game absolutely deserves a remake because the potential is so vast. You could do so many amazing things. You could make so many cool bosses. You could update the controls because let's face it, back in the day they were super clunky. You could make anything a weapon and my idea would be if it isn't bolted down you can use it. The scale could be enormous. You could have thousands of shops, thousands of zombies on screen at once. It would be absolutely joyful to remake this game so please 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 capcom do it for me thank you next up we've got ape escape now this game was my childhood. Think this, young me, seven years old, holding a DualShock controller for the first time in my life. Because this game came with one as you needed to use sticks. It wasn't an option, you had to do it to play the game. Imagine my thumbs, not knowing what the hell was happening. I was confused, frightened. There were far too many knobs on my thumbs than I was used to at this time. Now the plot? A naughty monkey gets a hat that makes him super intelligent and British and rightfully he escapes the zoo and brings all of his monkey friends with him. But for some reason they go into a time machine and it's up to you with help from your trusty DualShock controller and some monkey catching gadgets to put them back in their cage. Oh my god. I'm sat here writing this script and it's just come to me. Were we the baddies? Anyway, this game had amazing visuals for its time. It was a really, really fun game and all the levels were so different. You could be prehistoric in one level, then in the future in the next, but all the levels were quite large in what was in them. And it was very similar to Mario 64 in how the levels were designed, created and also their vibrancy. But it was really, really such a clever little game with a simple premise, catch monkeys. Now this game desperately needs a remake because let's face it, the platformer genre doesn't exist in the same way anymore and Sony has had great success recently with the fantastic Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Now Ape Escape needs a remake for sure. It would be one game that could go down as a brand new franchise from the ashes of the old if they do it right and I for one think that with the tech of today and don't forget the dual sense, it could be an amazing technical marvel for that controller if not nothing else. Think Astrobot on steroids. It would be incredible. So please give us another ape escape. Yes. Welcome, Hunter. Wait, a, a PS4 game? 
Needing a remake? Martin, you've obviously lost the plot. Well, my friends, I absolutely have. But I have a deep, dodgy craving to go back to Yarnum and for it to look like Demon Souls. Can you imagine it? Now, Bloodborne celebrated its seventh birthday last month. So happy birthday, Bloodborne! Now, it was released on PS4, and it's a From Software masterpiece where you deal with all sorts of creepy creatures inspired by Lovecraft's novels. Walking in these terribly, horrible, dread-filling landscapes was absolutely breathtaking. You got to do it with your transformable weapons too, and it was such a thrill to play. The bosses were really difficult, and combine that with the ultra-aggressive gameplay where you're rewarded for being an absolute animal, and we were on to an absolute hit. how much better it could be walking into that beautiful Lovecraftian landscape and seeing it in unbelievable graphical quality, running at the potential 60 frames per second that we all know it could achieve. Now, I need that. In my opinion, this game is one of the best that From Software has ever made, and we desperately need it to have a cheeky upgrade. Even if they just slapped a PS5 name tag on it and gave me the exact same game with 60 FPS, I'd be throwing my wallet at them. So please, can we get a Bloodborne remaster? And while you're at it, give us a sequel. Next up, it's Dino Crisis. Now, Capcom were the absolute masters of making games back in the day. They were so innovative and often trying new IPs wherever they could, and more often than not, they would strike gold with them, especially back in the PS1 and PS2 era. On the PS1, they made a little game known simply as Dino Crisis. Now, what is it? Now, it's a game where there are a lot of dinosaurs and sadly, they are having a crisis. But what is it actually, Martin? Well, it's a game not too dissimilar to Resident Evil, to be honest with you, but it actually has dinosaurs in it. It was released in 1999 and directed by Shinji Mikami, the creator of the original Resident Evil game. You play as Regina and she is investigating some science facility as they think that naughty things are happening. Now, plot twist! Turns out they're making dinosaurs at this facility. Or are they? I mean, they might be, because there's loads of dinosaurs, so it seems very plausible. Now, the gameplay here. It's a survival horror with puzzles. Great characters, and the acting is top tier too. Our first priority is the survivor in the underground. Could be the dog. What are you talking about? All right, maybe not fully top tier, okay, but I like it. So why does this game need a remake? Well, as I said before, Capcom recently made great strides making Resident Evil 2 and 3. So on top of me thinking, oh my God, Mr. X and Nemi, please leave me alone. I was actually thinking, wow, imagine if this had dinosaurs and I was playing as a redhead. Now the RE engine is perfect for making this game happen. Capcom need to do it. I know there's so many people online asking for Dino Crisis to be remade. So it is the perfect time to revive something that let's be honest, would be fresh in this day and age. And there we go, that is the list. I hope you agree with it or disagree with it in some way, shape or form. I'd love to hear what you want to be remade. There's so many games out there, isn't there? Like, so many that I didn't even touch upon today. So let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please like the video. Uh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can come back anytime and hit that bell, ding-a-ling. Uh, so you get notified whenever a new video goes live. Uh, it should be about every week or so going forward. That's what I'm aiming for anyway. But thank you so, so much, everybody. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Take care and toodaloo.